What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another tutorial and this is on how to stream your Xbox One console to your Windows 10 PC. Now this is really really easy to set up and use, obviously it requires Windows 10, an Xbox One and an internet connection. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously boot up your Xbox One console. Once booted up go over to settings, preferences and then under system and app go down to allow game streaming to other devices and make sure that this is checked. Okay guys, so the next step requires you to plug in your Xbox One controller into your PC using the USB cable that came with your Xbox. Once you've done that, you can come over to Cortana or just search using the Windows search function and type in Xbox and you'll see here that it's a trusted Windows Store app. It should be defaultly installed, if not then just search it on the App Store and install it. Once you open this for the first time, you will be required to type in your email address and password for your Xbox One account, obviously that's very simple and self-explanatory so do that make sure you use the right account you can change every now and then if you want to but obviously if you have a main account then you can use that so if you haven't seen this already it's pretty neat you can start parties send messages pretty much see real-time uh, achievements so if you get an achievement um, you can see it in the notifications bar along here so where it says updates installed it will come up achievements and different things like that and if someone sends you a message or comes online you'll hear the little Windows 10 chime as well so that's pretty handy obviously you can turn that off but it's just a nice little thing to have on if you want to see you know different notifications and stuff like that so the first thing we're going to want to do is set up the streaming uh, quality so if we go over to settings here game streaming now you'll see here that we have three different encoding levels high medium and low obviously using high is the best quality but the stream may be choppy and if you're streaming wirelessly to your Xbox one then I recommend doing low or medium or if you have a very good internet connection you can always try high so I've got mine on medium here and I am wired to my console so if you're wired to your router or your console or if you are using wireless then maybe just try medium because it may be less choppy but the video quality might not be that great but you can always come back to this and change this at a later time so the next thing we're going to want to do is click this button here and as you can see we have the Xbox one device in the list all we want to do is hit connect and now we're connected to the console so we have the controller settings so you can actually press you know up a X Y and all that so that's pretty cool using your mouse we have the remote control which is basically a device or satellite box uh, connected to your TV so we won't go into further detail on that and obviously volume control as well so if we hit the stream button here it should say connecting on Xbox one and should take a couple of seconds to load and there we have it guys as you can see I'm moving the controller left and right and it is very very fluid and there is like no delay whatsoever we are on the medium encoding level preset you could bump it up if you have very good internet connection you can also come up here and resize it so if you go like this and resize the window um, it just literally downscales it and stays at that uh, resolution which is really cool so if you just want to have you know this window over on your other monitor screen or something you can do that you also got sound which is in sync as well I haven't noticed any delay on testing this you can push to talk using this mic button up here uh, this button here is the guide button essentially on the controller if you press it it will take you back to the dashboard in the top right hand corner we have this little icon here and we can switch to high medium and low so if you're experiencing any lag issues then you can switch the presets from up there as well so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly load halo that is in my disk tray right now just to show you I am streaming it directly from the Xbox one so I'm gonna resize this a little bit so you can see this better and there we have it guys I've now loaded halo master chief collection on my Windows 10 PC now this is really handy if you may be in the kitchen even in the bathroom or something stupid like that you're using a laptop or even a tablet that has Windows 10 running on it you can stream directly to that Windows 10 PC device. So it's really, really handy and it's really easy to use and set up. So I hope I've helped you in a way. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.